So today I'm going to show you guys how to plug these. These are found in 2003, later month, 2ZZs and up. What it is, it's to reduce emissions on cold start. Um, basically sends um, exhaust gases back into the intake. But because we are using it in a 2000 Celica, the exhaust manifold which is a DC sport header that we have it will not block these off so you're gonna have exhaust gases coming out of here and the engine will not run right so monkey wrench racing sells a kit to block them off that is ten dollars here's the little plugs they come with some red Loctite already and they also send you this tap which is what you do is you let it go through here and you make threads on it so that you can screw it in place and it's like a plug basically so people people were telling me oh you only want to do this with the head away from the block because you can get shavings inside the combustion chamber but what you can also do is turn the crank and make sure your valves are shut. If your valves are shut, you won't have any any um, shavings go in. So what you would want to do then is grab a shop vac and suck it all out. That would be the easiest way to do it. So that's how I've been doing it for these other two that I've already done. I've already done these two right here. So make sure the valves are closed for that one you're about to do because you do not want this too easy to fail on you. So I've already made sure that the valves are shut on this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, make the threads on it now. So how I start this off is I put this, first of all, it's not straight. It's down at an angle like this, the hole, it's like this. So you first want to start it off by hand, and once you see that it gets stuck, that's where the thread is going to go. So what I do to first start it off is I grab some needle nose pliers because I don't have the actual tool to do this or the, the handle. I don't have the handle to do this, so what I do is I first start it off lightly. And once you feel like it, it starts to grab on, you get some WD-40, spray a little bit, and you just start working your way through the hole. It's going to get a little bit rough, so what I would do now at this point is I would grab from like this, and just twist it like that. If it gets stuck, just repeat the same process. Take it off. Whoops. Sorry about the video quality and edit. Go back at it. And just keep making threads. Now, every now and then you want to back off a bit and get the shavings out of there. So, let's back it out. And you're gonna see that there's shavings on there and in here. So you don't wanna let this go down. So what I do is, I grab a shop vac and excuse the sound that I'm about to make. So once you got all that out, you can see that there's fresh threads already. So once you start putting this back in, it should start going in. See? Easy. So let's keep going at it. Lock it in. Spray a little bit of WD-40. Just work your way patiently. 
This is this is a job that requires a ton of patience. You need to have patience to do this. All right, now do it again. Back it out. Back it out. Collect the shavings at the vacuum. I'm about halfway in already, so we're gonna need to keep going more. It's basically what you do. One more. All right, that should be enough. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like I have enough thread, but I'm gonna go over it very quickly just to make sure that I have enough. And I'm gonna set you guys aside. So I'm gonna get my phone and clear those messages. You want to make sure there's no shavings in there. I can see nothing. Thank you. 